that attack is so slow. Oh, the wind up. Painful. Go back to the dagger. Yeah. Um. Let's try that. That's going a bit better. Well, until I say it's going better. <laughs> Ow! Oops, died way too early then. Yeah, heal me. Isn't that supposed to heal me when I'm standing in that? I'm not going to take it, there's no experience in it. <laughs> Okay, he hit me before he actually swung that time. Maybe I shouldn't take that because I can't see what it's there. I don't know what happened then. That was some sort of critical hit of some sort, but I don't know how it happened. Critical hit too. Is that a combo thing, maybe? A three hit combo or a You gonna stop your little dancey moves there? Oh, I was out of stamina, I think. And now I seem to be stuck doing I don't know what, but not moving. Oh! He's dancing again. sort of combo hit move, that must have been it. Perhaps if the tutorial hadn't bugged out of me I would have uh, been able to find out what all that stuff meant. All right. What is that? One of those lords Kaslo keeps talking about. 
that should be his shield rune big and a persistence great sword I don't think I had any experience in there did I uh, now there was a somewhere there was a a um, reward thing that must be where you continue on that's run yeah and that is jump okay that's going to be a little difficult so I gotta learn the moves while I'm two-handing That was a backstab, so hang on. I don't think that's a parry, I think it's just a, a hard hit. Same as that, yep, alright. Um, I think you can get up there actually. But I don't know how. Well, not like that. Anyway. something. Actually, that was, where is my equip load? Energy weight 5.8 out of 19. Okay. Um, help. No. There, that's what I'm looking to manage that to a character. Equipment load. Yeah, I'm not sure what the the uh, cutoff points are. But obviously, I want to keep that low. Successive victory, subject to a chance for a bit of loot. Gradually increases the experience you feel it. on the street resets once you save game or die. Yes, I did know about that. I'm looking for. Here somewhere, maybe. Um, yeah, it's uh, this is what I'm looking for. That thing there, once I've beaten the boss. Yeah, apparently, you're blind and I can sneak past you. However, I didn't aggro that other guy, did I? Nope. Enter. Alright, so, what am I doing in here? That's probably... Oh! Something hurt me then. There's some chests here. I will take magic energy shard, sealed rune, and energy shard. Ghost merge shard and a bulwark shield. So I've got a bigger shield if I want one. Empty bottle and faithful disciple is armor. Well, uh, so I could put on my shield, a bigger shield. Go shield and sword. Where was the armor I found? Um, I have no idea what that is supposed to do. An acolyte's paraphernalia. It is used to be common within the ancient group of Northern Friars. It is believed the amulet regenerated their spellcrafting powers. It doesn't look like it's an armor at all. It's a trinket. And since I'm not even using magic, 
Alright, what do these do? The material resonates with a specific runic symbol and its effect can only be revealed by a crafted rune forger. Okay. There is that some sort of random reward that you have to find someone and turn it in. Oh, and you've respawned. Um. No, oh, that. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing that. What happens if I put that in? Um. It has an empty socket. I can't use it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Alright, well, you! Let's see if I'm any better at killing you now. Uh, apparently I lost focus on him somehow. Keep running out of stamina. Energy. Right. Oh, he's just tossed that dagger. As if it ain't no thang. Right, so this was where... the boss fight was. And this here... is some sort of... Right, experience you earn for defeating enemies remains with you until you decide to store it or die. The more you carry, the higher rewards drop from fallen foes. So that's that XP multiplier. Still, if you don't want to lose your kind of have, bank it in the save shards like this one. It prevents a loss upon death, but also resets your drop rate modifier, so it's a trade-off. Storing the experience in save shards gets you attribute and spell points. Left trigger to store experience, or right trigger to store it towards attributes. You can do it by opening the character development screen when close to the save shard. Press B if you don't want to bank your experience now, otherwise press whatever that symbol, which is the back button, to try it out. Okay. You can bank the experience again while standing close to a checkpoint. Use left trigger to spend experience on spell points, and right trigger for attribute points. Bank the experience will not be lost after dying. Uh, so, hang on. How do I... Turn that off, though. Right. So... I don't know that I want spell points particularly. I'm probably not going to be using magic that much, so I'll just... Uh... Ah, you hold it down, okay. Current experience, 985, so I keep doing that. Oh, I get it. So while you hold it down, okay, fair enough. And now that I've banked it, that means I should be able to go... Well, I was already in there anyway, hang on. I can add strength, vitality... No. Damage and equipment burden. I think my weapons are dex for the daggers. Vitality is health, faith is for magic, endurance is energy and also equipment burden, same thing. Oh, so that's slightly, oh, so that's a little bit of equipment burden, that's a lot of equipment burden. Agility and luck. Luck seems as if it may be the same as luck in Demon Souls or resistance in Dark Souls, as in just really a thing that you probably don't much care for. So, this dagger I've got, that, that, it is an agility and it scales 4% with agility, I guess that's what that means. So if I, bloody hell, if I dump stuff into agility, Um, it's giving me a bit of extra damage, a bit of extra... I can do that. 